Hi, I'm Bob Duncan, Managing Director at Resi Financial Services, and I'm here to talk to first-time buyers, um, as it's likely to be one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make in your lifetime. So it's understandable that most of you will probably have some queries or maybe even some anxiety about what the process will entail. We want to put your mind at ease. So if you're looking to apply for a mortgage, there are a few things that you need to look at first. We call it getting mortgage ready. One of the first steps in your mortgage journey is to set a lending goal of how much you're looking to borrow. This should be a realistic goal and it should be based around your income, your outgoings and the size of your deposit you're able to put down. Second thing you should consider is your credit records and keeping it healthy. A couple of key points here to keep in mind is you know, stay within your borrowing limits. If you have an overdraft, try not to go over the overdraft. If you have borrowing, try to reduce that or even don't have any borrowing, but where you are using any credit facilities, try to make sure that they're maintained and paid on a, on a regular basis. A mortgage lender will normally examine the last three months bank statements to ensure that you're financially healthy, but more importantly, able to afford the mortgage repayments. Ahead of this review, it is worthwhile reducing any spending, clearing any overdraft usages, and this is at a time where the advisors are able to provide some guidance and support if you're not quite ready. Next stage of the process is to think about your deposit. All interest rates are linked to the size of the deposit you're able to put down. So the more that you're able to put down, will see you secure a better rate of interest, but also from the bank's perspective, you are seen as a lower risk to them. So where possible, look to save as much as you can. Alternatively, there is the bank of mum and dad who might be able to help you out onto the ladder. One way of being able to boost your deposit is to consider opening up a lifetime ISA. Whatever you put in in a financial year, the government can add up to 25% as a bonus or up to a maximum of £1,000 a year. Where that's a couple, those numbers are doubled. Next thing to keep in mind is making sure that you're eligible to vote. So ensure that you're registered with the electoral register at your current address and when you come to speak to one of the advisors, try to provide them with an accurate last three years address history. Now it's time to get a decision on principle and what you should be looking to do next is spending some time with one of our mortgage and protection advisors. They'll be able to talk you through the process, get your decision on principle, which will give you an idea of what you're able to borrow and they will provide you with all the relevant information about the next steps and what are going to be required to submit a successful offer. Now you've got your decision on principle, one of our mortgage and protection advisors will now guide you through the mortgage process as they have access to over 90 lenders and over 12,000 mortgage products. They will find the deal that's right for you based on your personal and financial situation. If you're looking to buy your first home and want someone to guide you through the process, and get in touch with Freddy Financial Services today.